Guys, we are back. How does it feel, baby? Hi, guys. We missed you. We yes. hope you're doing well. It's been a long time coming. It's been a minute, but you know what? It's kind of hard maintaining a vlog channel full time without being able to go anywhere, travel, yeah. the house, see our friends. Like, we're pretty much in the same boat as everybody else. <laughs> so, Dennis came up with the idea of trying to do something a little different for the channel, and we're gonna do what's this game called? It's called Who Is More Likely To. So okay. it's a chance to get us get to know us a bit more. Um, I'm gonna answer a bunch of questions. She ha has no clue. This is gonna be the first time you're gonna hear these questions. And, I have no clue what he's gonna And the rule is simply, I've got two sheets. She's got two sheets, and whenever I read out the question, I'm gonna have to say if it's Jackie or me, or vice versa. So let's get to it. And let's not it's waste time. Vice versa. Vice versa. <laughs> okay, let's go. Who is more romantic? No, babes. Girl. <laughs> I am more romantic. No, I think I am. In terms of well, ideas. Well, okay, like what is, define romantic. Okay, like, so romantic more is, affectionate, more No, more no, it's player. not about effect, it's more about planning romantic things, so that's what I was more referenced to. I mean, I'm not gonna be the one planning more stuff than you. You, you're yeah, the guy. Exactly. You should be doing all that. So, oh, you, I win that you one. should be the more romantic one. <laughs> but I would say I'm definitely the more like affectionate one. Yeah, we're gonna get to that one. <laughs> Dennis will plan the romantic events and I will be the Affect one who brings the romance. That's true, you are. There, you know what I mean? Like, I'll bring romance. Okay, what's that? You gotta bring something to the table. <laughs> what does that I know, I'm playing, I'm playing. Who's more hotter? Hot, what does that mean? Like, physically? Yeah, more hotter. Me. Aww, thanks, babe. Um, what else is that? <laughs> you like I just said that with no hesitation? <laughs> he wants to be more hotter no, than honestly? Hotter. It's weird if you're dating a guy and he thinks he's hotter than you, that would be weird. yikes, run for the hills yeah. and yeah. take his money. <laughs> Who made the first move? Don't, don't lie. <laughs> Actually, wait, it was, you're such okay, a liar. Yeah, was, okay, that was me. It was Thank me. you. It was me. It was me. Thank so you. It was actually that. He day. loves telling people I made the first move. He's such a liar. No, but it was me. I would literally never make the first move. No, she guy. won't. Um, I would like flirt, but I would, I mean, barely that, but I would never make the first the move. The first time we actually met was in a restaurant. Um, this is actually the first time I'm telling you. We were at, at dinner. Dinner. You can't uh, tell too much. Yeah, we'll give them a little. But it was at dinner, you know what I mean? Got her details then. The rest was history. We, he asked me out on a date. If he asked me on, out on a date, that means. Yeah, but, yeah, I mean, yeah, I made right? the first move. I was being very romantic that day. Laying it all out. And he yeah. looked very nice. Thank you. Thank I remember you. that suit that you had on. And I think, oh, you, yeah. had on I still... I think you had on burgundy socks. Wow, you got good memory. No, yes. I don't. I just remember that. Wow, that's actually And I remember the suit was like, not gray, but like a beige grayish. I was going to guess what you were wearing, but if I get it wrong, you're going to laugh. I'm I... I was, you was wearing white dress. I don't something. remember what I, I was wearing. I think you was wearing a white dress. I just don't remember. I think you were wearing a white dress. But yeah, anyway. But wait, pause this because I'm so hot, baby. Asked her on a date, and then yeah, we went out and done bits. <laughs> okay, that's for our, our US followers. What does that mean? It means done that we done, done activities. Things. We done activities. Wait, whoa, no, whoa, 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 do I take longer to shower, babe? That's I'm trying to think how long do I take to shower? Babe, you're taking a mickey. Come on. Like, okay, me, fine. Come on. Okay, fine, That's fine, not fine you're right. How long? Do I take long shower? Yes. No, I take don't. at least 15 minutes. I take that's five minutes. That's a long minutes. shower. I take five to 10 minutes. You take I about, don't think that's a long you shower. You take about 15 to 20. Who's more likely to deal with a spider? That's easy. Oh, you? Yeah. I have a habit of... Wait, yeah, it's me, yeah. I have a habit of... <laughs> Killing um, a lot of ants and spiders. That doesn't mean this place is infested. That's your but, civic duty. But yeah, and she's always screaming. And whenever she screams, I know what it means, and I'm running to do. I put on my Ghostbusters costume, and I'm ready to go. Yeah. Question time: Who's more high maintenance? <coughs> yeah. Oh, I'm about to say. I thought you said me. It's not high maintenance if you're Maybe. the one doing the maintaining. Period. Quotes. Okay. Period. Okay. Period. Um, I'm not that high maintenance. Baby. To be fair, she's not that bad. But she's high. You can see the bags behind us, right? Yeah. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> To me, somebody who's high maintenance is someone who per who upholds a certain standard like every say. single day. Like you guys follow me on Insta stories and you see like I don't always have edges laid. Like I'm not always wearing makeup. I can leave the house with nothing on. Like it's true. I feel like I am pretty balanced. However, for those that are a little bit higher maintenance, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, yeah, it's, it's not like, a bad it doesn't thing. hurt anybody. I, yeah. Like we're not here to shame. We're not here to judge. I don't personally think I'm that happy. Yeah, and it's not a beat and all jokes aside, it's not actually a bad thing being high maintenance like there's there's bougie that well there's different types but let me not go into it it's long let's go <laughs> who typically starts arguments 
Uh, yeah, I, I gonna, would say probably me. Gonna say that. Dennis doesn't start an argument because he's a Pisces, okay? So this is what Pisces do. They leave breadcrumbs, okay? They start stuff, okay? They are a little passive aggressive. So Dennis, he doesn't do this anymore. But when we first started dating and got really serious, Dennis would say things that he knows is going to start an argument. And then when I react, he's like, oh, oh, you felt the way? Oh, <laughs> you, 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 oh, oh, oh. And I'd be like, yeah, and, yeah, and, oh, you said, you said what? You wanna say it with your chest? You wanna say it to my face? And then Dennis would try to be like, oh, no, it's cool. It's chilled. It's chilled, mate. It's not that deep. You're taking a Mickey. It's not that deep. But like, it was deep enough for you to plant the seed and planting no, the I was, seed. No, I was you just knew curious. It was gonna stop. No, I was curious so, to get Say it with opinion. your chest. No, we're not talking about opinions, sir. We're talking about real life arguments. <laughs> that's that's what Pisces do, though. Pisces, I'm gonna need y'all to like emotionally mature she a little could, bit she more. Could write a book about it. So you can say how you feel and feel how you say, so that you don't have to be a little dropped and little passive aggressive. Because that passive aggressive. Okay, all right, let me stop. Time's up. <laughs> Who is more likely to go skydiving? That's an easy one. Oh, you. No, you. No, you. I would never you go would do skydiving. Yes, oh you my. Would. Not skydiving. Yes, you would. I like adventure, yeah, yes. You would. But skydiving, we've already talked about hell no. I'm not yeah, doing that would, shit. Yeah, you would, babes. But you're more likely to do that. Babes, if. If we had a choice, who would do that? Me or you? Think about it. I but would you're very do adventurous that. as well, but. I'm not adventurous. I don't know. Some, someone's got it wrong because I would not do skydiving ever until I'm least. I'm 60. <sighs> yeah. You that's got me messed up. Yeah. Who is a better cuddler? Okay, that's easy. Me. Uh, she's definitely the cuddler. Dennis is too when he wants to be, but me. Yeah, I, I'm getting better. Who is more annoying? That's easy. That's that's definitely easy. She loves it. It's part of her duty. It's not normal she's not annoying, and I've learned to accept that. And yeah, live a happy life. Just like, do you know what I mean? Like, no point being. You was a little too ready to say. <laughs> You was a little too excited to expose me. She finds me annoying, so I was surprised she didn't uh, to You don't find yourself. His family members thanked me. That's true. When he moved to the US. That's very thanked. True. They were like applauding, like, yes! We owe you. They were happy, but it wasn't. Shout happy. out to you! <laughs> I was like, what am I getting myself into? Yeah, they did tell you. I was a little worried. I'm not gonna lie, I do find myself annoying, I even find my own self, but you are very annoying. You peel your feet. Okay, we wasn't meant to talk about that. In our bed. That's not true. You're come sick. On, babe. Come You're on. sick. That's not true. Come You're on. sick. Come on. You ain't You're have to demon. go that far. Really? You do? Come on. I, I was step on his toenails. <laughs> that is not house. true. That is not true. And I'm tired. She's making this up, guys. Of your beard me, hair being in my sink. Me. That's annoying. Beard, yes. Now, I've got a lot of hair, so of course it's going to be around. But come on, my Can toenails. No. Who is the loudest? You are loud. Oh Actually, my wait. god. No, Dennis is the okay. Dennis is like I, unintentionally loud, like yeah, his natural. I don't voice. realize my voice. You're literally yelling yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, <laughs> Look, prove her case, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't realize when I'm speaking on the phone or when I'm next to her, she says I'm screaming. When Dennis is watching Arsenal, oh my god, oh my god, ah, you stupid long idiot. Guys, I'm sorry what for go? that performance. What to go? I don't know who she is. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what she's talking about. That's a me reenacting with Dennis watches football. Uh, Sam Line. Anybody from the UK, you date a guy that watches football, Sam Line. He's been on football for a few weeks as well. He needs to come back as soon as possible. What to go? Because he's been depressing about football. What's, what's the next question? Oh yeah, you're gonna laugh at this one. Who eats the loudest? <sighs> Yeah, that is me. Ugh. Okay, I've got this bad habit of eating very loud. That I get excited when I see food, especially when I've been eating for a long while. I get excited, I start chewing, I forget that anyone's around me. So yeah, I can imagine it's very disturbing. So, he's a foodie. I'm a foodie. Like she he typically really loves food. Loves what she has to watch something just to take the noise out, and I don't blame her because it is really bad. Lie about that one. So she she's right. You're sick. Who drives better? Oh, right, easy. You we had this think... argument. We had this actual ongoing argument where she thinks she's a good driver, and it's actually shocking. I don't know what. Let's ask your cousin. Oh. Why would you? Let's ask your cousin. Oh, my cousin hasn't been in my car that many times. Let's ask your cousin. You are the worst driver. No. Okay, why let's ask her, your cousin. Why she's calling my cousin? Because your her. cousin was the one who told yeah. me, warned me about she how you drive. She is the worst driver, and she drives up in front of people. That like, doesn't make me a bad driver. Like 
why would you go up that top? I'm, that's the worst. Just means like, I'm there's no way to go. And you know what she does the worst? She gets angry at people for not moving when she's driving up close that to them. That doesn't make me a bad driver. What? It just that, means I'm in a hurry. I don't get it. I really don't get it. What I'm, the only thing that I do that's bad is that I go into another lane sometimes. That's the only oh. thing. <laughs> in and out of traffic periodically. I've just run a couple red lights in my days. It's not a big deal. <laughs> You're so annoying. No, honestly, honestly, the first time I drove in Dennis's car, you know how in the U, I didn't know this, but apparently in the UK, when you drive, well, here in the, I'll just say here in the US, you know like when you drive on the right side of the road, you have to parallel park on the right side of the road. You cannot drive on the right side of the road and then park your car on the left side facing the right side of traffic. Does that make sense? So Dennis, the first time he took me somewhere, like he had rented a car and he was parked on the street, but he was parked backwards. I was like, why are you yeah, parked have, like that's that? Not my point. But in the UK, it's different. It's like you park. can park wherever, any direction, True. no matter the direction of traffic. So I was like, okay, that was the first red flag. But like you, if you're driving in a different country, you should like, no one on this street is parked the opposite way, bro. Sorry, anyway, I passed my, my, my test first no, time. So I'm that says a lot. The story. That and then he has run experience. red lights several times. He's That's run stop signs several true. times. His biggest offense, to this day, he still does this. That's not true. He cannot drive in one lane. He swore. It, like, I mean, that's, that's not just. True, once again. I don't feel. When no cars are around, believe... I decide to go on the other lane. That's not how driving There's works. There's no car around me. That's not how driving works, sweetie. That makes you a bad driver. No, it doesn't. I am just. Dangerous. She's I dangerous. am just. I have to hold on to the. I just have road rage. Yeah, like, that doesn't make. Road rage is insane. I don't insane. think. I don't think having Crazy. road rage worse. makes me a you bad guys, driver. Both. I just who, who makes think it, work? Someone it that makes me an impatient driver. That has but I most certainly will not have enough road rage who to run a red light or a go in a car. Sign. Someone that goes in a road rage, both please. Road I don't rage versus someone that worse. actually just goes to the side. Which one's worse? No, please, it's not going to the side. You literally double park. <laughs> you drive in two lanes all the time. You run stop signs and red lights. That's not true. Fix your life. I'm calling the DMV. <laughs> yeah, I'm to calling the DMV. I'm going to report you. I am. I'm going to get your license. <laughs> Whatever she said is not true. I'm going to get your car towed. I'm going to get your license revoked. I'm done. Who is the cleanest? Okay. Oh, period. Like, yeah, I'll give that to her. Doesn't mean I'm dirty, but she's definitely you know, more. He swears. I'm OCD. Gonna say that. I'm OCD, though. No, you're not. No, you're not. Like, come on, baby. Yo, like, for example. Someone that has real OCD is going to get offended if you say that, though. How? They're going to get offended. How? Because I'm OCD. I'm OCD. You're not OCD. Like, at least before. OCD is an actual health condition. Like, it's Seriously? Yeah. I didn't know that. Okay. Exa exactly. Okay, sorry about that. OCD to me. <laughs> it's good to know and you learn something new every day. But what does it do to me? Go to the next question. I know, you're, I need to, you're making so, a bigger mess. No, because I need to make this very clear. So OCD to me is when, for example, like if someone sh and brings food to me, I have to get gloves, open That doesn't up. make you OCD, it makes you germaphobe, And let me finish. Oh, is it germaphobe? You're not saying so anything groundbreaking. This is what okay, everybody cool. who thinks they have OCD okay, has. Another thing, OCD. another thing that I do is even spoons. I don't like sharing cups. I don't like sharing anything with anyone. I don't Again, mind. Again, a germaphobe. Okay, so maybe that's where it is. Anyway, next question, people. <laughs> Who's more organized? Me. Oh, me. I think that's me as one. Well. I think your shoe, <laughs> sir. Go look at your shoe closet right there. <laughs> go look at your so underwear drawer. You know, when I wrote that question, when I meant by more, organized, more organized, as in like just with like personal life and what's going no, on. No, usually organized. They're talking about your living. Okay, space. cool. Fair enough. So then I'll give that one to you. Yeah, if, yeah. But I'm talking about organized in terms of life and everything. Yeah, I'm more in place with that. I'm, I'm more on top of that. I'll just flex on. I'm okay. Who tells the better jokes? <laughs> I think that's I'm funnier. No, she. You know what? No, I'm funnier. We're both funny, but she is funny. I'm not gonna lie to you. She's funny. Dennis is funny. Dennis is like unintentionally funny. Yeah, that's about to say. She's. Funny. I know how to set up the comedic timing yeah, of the joke. That's true. Dennis is just like acts. He's not. Accidentally, to be funny. accidentally funny. I'm not trying to be funny, but like you don't you're gonna end up watching this video and laughing at me like she is, and I'm not trying to be funny. And that wasn't actually a joke about the me being OCD. That was me being. But that's just typical. That's me. what you thought. I generally thought that, and I apologize okay. if I've offended anyone. That's but. Okay. We know you didn't intentionally thank make you, that hurtful or harmful. Thank you. But it's important we should educate properly. Yeah, a lot of people you. don't know the difference. Okay. Between. Thank you, babes. <laughs> okay. Um, who has a sweet tooth? Dennis is really I'm bad. really bad. He's I such a muncher, like always snacking on stuff. <sighs> like always. Late times as well. Late I nights. call him Squirrel. That's his nickname because he's always literally snacking on something, crumbs everywhere. I'm like, babe, like. Yeah. 
He's such a squirrel. If, if I wasn't active, honestly, good luck to me. I don't know where I'll be. Who farts more? Okay. Let's go. Oh God. Me. I, I've got. You can that literally hand. like fart on cue. Yeah, I'll be. Sorry. Can I, you fart right now? What the? I, I can't. When you get comfortable with your couple, you know it's real when you can fart in front of your couple, knowing that it's all good. Like I fart in bed. At least let me close my mouth like, first. In fact, I could fart right now, baby. I know I ain't crazy. Y'all hurry, I'm keeping. What the? <laughs> <laughs> you could have at least did it in another direction. You could have at least did it in the other direction. What's wrong Sorry, with you? Sorry, that wasn't intentional. That was I, rude. That wasn't meant to come out. It was no funny. I was not thinking it was going to come out. And then something triggered it. I don't know what it was, but something triggered it, babes. I don't know where that came from. And I can actually smell it. This is bad. This is really bad. Yeah, this is bad. Yeah. You should use more. That's really bad. You're yeah. Sick. I don't actually deal with many people. With that was bad. I'm sorry. Um, Are you uh, proud of yourself? Okay. Anyway, guys, that's the end of part one. That's it. Let's finish that. Okay. No, you're just farting. I don't want to cuddle with you. Come on, babe. Come on. Come. Yes. So, th thanks for watching the first part of our uh, get to know. Well, no, get to know us. Who's more likely to whatever you want to call this game? That was fun. Um, she's still smelling. I can smell it. I can still smell it. Yeah. But anyway. Make sure you tune in next week, the same time. We're going to do Shoot. part two. It's going to be more juicy or funny questions, okay? Okay? So join in, yeah? And make sure you subscribe and like the... Like it? Make sure make sure you subscribe <laughs> and thumbs up our video. Actually, and we'll see you... <laughs> make sure you subscribe and thumbs up our video. We'll see you on the next Thank one. you. And obviously, thumbs it down if you don't like it, okay? Don't do that. <laughs> don't curse <person. laughs> so silly. Peace out. Bye. What's up, people? It's a late one, it's um, 3.30 in the morning. My sleep pattern's a mess. I've been up uh, making updates to my website, so I thought I'd use this opportunity just to give a shout out to our sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace empowers creative people to bring the ideas to life. They have so many amazing website templates for you to choose from. Squarespace is trusted by so many successful entrepreneurs, business owners, photographers, um, chefs, musicians, artists, so many different people use it because it's so user friendly. You don't need to have any coding experience. They give you templates that's ready to go. They have a powerful blogging tool for you to tell your stories. You can also connect to your social media accounts. And if you have a large group members that you typically communicate with regularly, Squarespace have an amazing tool where you can send out email campaigns. It's creative, it's beautiful. The all-in-one platform makes it easy for you to unify your brown voice. Guys, avoid spending hundreds or even thousands of dollars trying to find a web developer to build your website. So why don't you challenge yourself? Have some fun, give it a go, build a new skill. And guys, Squarespace has an amazing community support center. They also have how-to videos, there's frequently asked questions that you can explore if you're not sure about something. So yeah, they make your life so easy, guys. So just check it out, try it out. So go to www.squarespace.com forward dash Dennis and Jackie for a free trial and to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Guys, take care and have a good one. Peace out.